Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So some very bad news to report. It was just reported a couple days ago that Tyson Fury, he signed this big deal with ESPN. That means he's now working with Bob Arum. Before, it was almost guaranteed that we were going to get to see this big, highly anticipated rematch between Wilder and Fury. But now Bob Arum, he has other plans. Soon as Bob Arum took over, he basically said, there's no rush. There's no reason to have this fight next. And that really doesn't make any sense because this is the fight that the fans want to see. Wilder versus Fury 2 is the most significant fight in the heavyweight division right now. But Bob Arum, he says, what's the rush? If you've been watching boxing long enough, you pretty much already understand Bob Arum's thought process. He's thinking, since a Wilder fight is very risky and there's a chance that Tyson Fury can lose that fight, it would be a bad look for him to lose his first fight signing this multi-million dollar deal with Top Rank or with ESPN. So we're most likely gonna see Tyson Fury fight against someone that no one really wanted him to fight, at least when it comes to comparing that opponent to Deontay Wilder. When I first heard the news that Tyson Fury, he all of a sudden just signed to ESPN right in the middle of negotiating, or I was trying to figure out why Tyson Fury would do something like that. And why would Bob Arum intervene and do something like that? And it obviously makes sense now. Bob Arum, he feels if he can keep this man undefeated before, once again, he possibly loses to Deontay Wilder, perhaps that makes Tyson Fury more marketable. But once again, this is pure speculation on my part. The only thing we know for a fact is Bob Arum does not want that fight next. And once again, that is very unfortunate. You know, the real sad thing about this news is this is bad for Deontay Wilder because he's been chasing Anthony Joshua for so long. And he finally gave up on Anthony Joshua and he ended up creating this new rivalry with Tyson Fury. And with this rematch brewing, that rivalry was starting to be as big as a possible fight with Anthony Joshua. I mean, boxing fans have waited so long to find out who is truly the best at the heavyweight division. And now we're gonna have to wait a lot longer to find out. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Take your strike game to the next level with the Focus Ball. Dramatically improved footwork, timing, accuracy, reflex, head movement, and striking technique. Train every time, everywhere with the Focus Ball.